hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Maurice dimba and today i'm going to show you how to create sloped footing or isolated footing uh, with footing bars and starter bars welcome once again and let's get started right away then we'll go straight all the way to concrete right here then uh, from there we'll go straight to pad footing pad footing um, i mean we'll go to footing then we'll click on that drop down arrow then we have two options here to pick a uh, stripped or pad footing we'll use uh, pad footing tool to assist us in creating our sloped footing or isolated footing we'll pick on that part footing then we'll snap on top of this um, we'll snap on this grid uh, on the on top of this grid then uh, right away right there then uh, we want to check the properties or the measurements of these simple footing we'll just uh, we'll just double click on it right here and we'll, we'll be able to see the profile here under profile we see it is uh, 1.5 by 1.5 name is pad footing now we want to modify this to we want to convert this into sloped footing or isolated footing now we'll just go straight away and close this now click on empty screen just remove or to unselect uh, our object now we'll go straight to to edit under edit here we want to go to straight to uh, ch chamfer edge under chamfer edge i'll just double click on this just to take you through on the settings on uh, and uh, what to pick if you intend to create isolated footing or uh, sloped footing now here we have uh, uh, chamfer type this one we have two options here or just one option right there just click that drop down arrow and you'll be able to pick that the right one the name of that is chamfer and the cutting distance in x direction is uh, this is my setting and uh, the cutting distance in y direction is 550 if you intend to use the same measurement you can try using this the the first end type is beveled pick that option there's full the straight and the f and uh, and beveled i picked i've picked beveled now that's all just go straight and click modify and apply and, uh, and click ok I've, I've already done that now i'll close this i'll just close this right click and interrupt i want to exit from that command then i'll go back to it once again i'll go back to chamfer now if you take a look after invoking the chamfer age command you'll be able to see here pick the object i'll pick this object then begin with your first point first position and the second position now i'll pick this as my first position I'll zoom close and make sure I snap accurately on that spot. I'll snap on that spot. Then I'll go all the way to the other end. I'll snap right here. I'll snap right there. I've created this. Now to get rid of this blue part, just uh, right click and uh, redraw. You'll be able to remove that part. Now we've chamfered one side. Now I'll go back to ch uh, chamfer edge. Now I'll pick on this, then uh, I would like to start my first position on this side, then come all the way to this end, and that's snap right here, on this position right here. That is my second chamfer, I'll right click, and right click once again and redraw to remove all that. Then I'll turn the, the other end, come to navigate and uh, be, I'll be able to rotate that. I'll come back to edit right here and pick on chamfer edge. I'll pick on this part to to uh, pick on this part to be chamfered. Then I'll start my first point on that end, and I'll wind up on that position. I've create have created the third chamfer. I'll right click and redraw. I'll turn this once again. Turn this, and I want to create my fourth chamfer here right click and interrupt and i'll go back to edit right here and pick that i'll pick on the part to be chamfered and uh, i'll pick this as my first position and uh, go all the way this to this end as my second position and i've created my fourth chamfer now let me just turn this around so that you can have a closer look of this this is what i, I, I was creating to represent our sloped footing or isolated footing okay, this is it now we want to place our our, our footing bars now to do that just come here and click that button 
and uh, just type starter and we'll be taken all the way to that let me just do, do that for you just type starter starter and we'll pick starter buds now that will be the second stage now i'll be, I'll be going straight to place uh, placing the pad footing uh, i mean the footing bars footing bars then we'll go we'll come straight away and pick on the pad footing reinforcement we'll pick on that then we'll go straight away and pick the part we want to reinforce or we want to place our pad footing on we'll pick on that and that's it well i'll press control to just to convert this to a transparent object so that we can be able to see everything happening inside this pad or sloped footing and let me just turn this round perfect i'll right click and click interrupt and i'll, du I'll double click on the rebars just to check on the sizes and the spacing between the both crossing and the the longitudinal bars let me just double click once again there we are now i'll close this now the distance from the top of our uh, isolated footing I fed that 600 I, or I can just take it back to 100 and we'll be able to see how these rib are behaving just click modify you'll be able to see they're now longer but we want we want to confine them below or inside our isolated footing or a sloped footing now we'll change this this is dependent this depends a lot on the size of your sloped footing uh, this will go straight to I'll, I'll i'll give it 600 millimeter then i'll go straight away and click modify apply and accept that i'll click on empty screen to remove any selection here or to unselect any part that I, I i previously selected now this is what we've created right away this is what we've created now i'll take you once again to pad uh, to to riba placement let me just turn this and i'll go back to riba placement just double click once again here we are and uh, i'll go straight to uh, let me close this first i'll go to primary bars primary bars and secondary bars and laser bars now on laser bars we can adjust how how many laser bars do we want do we really need laser bars or uh, we need one just to confine this in position or to confine these main bars in position let me change this to 300 and you'll be, you'll be able to see how this is behaving that is where it will be placed if you you change the spacing bar ending or the, the end of spacing bar let me just bring it back to where it was to where i placed it in initially and i'll go straight away and click modify i'll go to straight to apply and i can give it an okay right there and that one will give me an exit to this command now i'll go straight away to to start bar placement and it's just next to me here i'll click on that then i'll go straight away and pick on the part or uh, the sloped footing here i'll pick on that right there you'll be able to see our pad footing or i or our or our isolated footing starter bars are in place now let me just turn this round so that you can see this clearly let me just uh, double click on the on the starter bars close let me close that now you can see this protrusion of uh, 800 of of the top of our isolated footing this is manipulatable you can give it you can change that to 100 it depends upon you how long do you want that to be i'll give it 600 right there and click modify it 
center to center of our of our stir ups i can give this 200 or 150 200 let's click and click modify you will be able how the you will be able to see how this is being arranged down here i'll go ahead and click apply and accept that i'll come to navigate and i'll be able to turn that around and be able to check how this looks down here perfect let me switch back to control 4 and this is how it will look i'll close this once again and i'll now select everything here right click and come to copy and i'll pick this one place that one there and place that one here Place that one there and place this one here and place that one there I'll right click and re and redraw right click and redraw i'll highlight everything right here and uh, press control and, and uh, deselect my grid right click once again and click copy and i want to depopulate this all the way to the other end i'll do this in uh, manually by picking at this end right here and place all the way to the other end and go to the second last one and i uh, go final to the last one I'll right click and uh, click interrupt then I'll right click right click once again and redraw and this is what we'll be having now I'll come to navigate and turn this round and this is what we have I can switch back to the top view and if I zoom closer this is what we'll be having uh, I mean sloped footing with starter bars in place and footing bars. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, let's meet the next presentation. The next in the next uh, in the next presentation, we'll be placing our columns with the with the starter bars. Let me just turn this round. Perfect. Thanks and bye bye, and le let's meet in the next presentation. I'm Morris Dimbo once again. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and bye bye.